video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. Everybody and welcome. We are Drafting Vintage Cube special guest Louise. We have a go. stipulation today. Stipulation three. That didn't work out. Three O. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're um, gonna we're gonna try a trophy. You know, try and trophy. I I have two one every single cube draft. The time this. Well, it must this be week. nice to be two one in cube drafts. <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> what? Oh, during a storm, <laughs> or what? Your signature move of like draft a storm deck, play one round and drop. All right. Well, we open power. Feels good, man. Oh, yeah. I think we're gonna just take that. Uh, last card is Wall of Roots, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, this this is a good pack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably gonna wheel like a maybe a worn Power Stone or Avalanche Riders, depending on what other people like in this cube. How have you been liking Thief of Sanity in cube? I know you haven't been playing that much this iteration, but just like in general. Thief of Sanity is pretty good. You you always win if you hit with it, but it's not the easiest to hit with. It's worse than I think like Gaunti or Fallen Shinobi, but it's pretty good. It's a pretty miserable pack too. Oh yeah, this is a bad pack. Um, you could take SFM to go with your time lock. That is a combo. Yeah. I'm okay doing that. I mean, this is just such a weak pack. You could also take, uh, you could take God's Shrine. The thing is, you're not even going to wheel the Soulfire. I don't think this pack is so bad. Soulfire, Soulfire, Grand Master. We're going to take SFM. Right. Yeah, I like, I kind of like that. SFM. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is really stupid. Uh, geez. see, I really hate Gush and Sphinx's Rev. I have not found either of them to be like very good. No, I think they're terrible. I think Disenchant is actually a fine card in the cube. You could also take Primeval Titan because both the cards you have are like kind of splashable. At least Time Walk and Time Walk is especially good in the green decks. Yeah, I think I would just take Primeval Titan. I think Prime Time is the best card by like a good amount. It's just so, a high upside yeah, card, yeah, yeah. even though if you, you might not get there. But the thing is, Prime Time can also be in like a Simic or a Bant control deck. Yeah. It's just a good card. Then maybe we'll get Oko. And then if yeah. we get Oko, and then we also, have some Oko's in our deck. Also, if this pack, I mean, Oko's just a good card, yeah. <laughs> I, I agree with that. I know, but it'd be, it'd be exciting. I haven't drafted Oko <laughs> once. I've never seen an Oko. Whew. We could just plow and try to go that route. I don't know. Plow Under is a very good card. There's also Grim Monolith, but I think I'd just take Plow Under because it looks like green is kind of open. Plus, you might wheel Regrowth, which is really nice with Time Walk. Yeah. The signal. Yeah, there's, Thank there's you a, for the seven. I appreciate that. There's a good chance you will regrowth actually out of this pack, I think. Gabby hi, Gabby Viper. Yeah, I'm gonna take plow. Gonna plow him real good. Drain Shermit could be cool, or Whisperwood could be cool if we end up being an opposition deck, because we actually look like we could be set up for being opposition, which I haven't I, drafted at all. I like Whisperwood more, because I find that Whisperwood is just a good card by itself, whereas Drain Shermit's not really a good card unless you're comboing. Whisperwood is also really good with time walk. It is. Um, Ryan, nah, uh, it's, it's still in the cube. Yeah. Oko's, I think Oko's good in the cube. It's just a good card. Like, right now, I'd be looking to draft green. Oh, Kadama's Reach Kadama's is perfect Reach is for awesome, yeah. Let me snap that off. You're, you're probably going to end up on mono green based on this start. Splashing, Spiral, or sorry, Time Walk, and maybe SFM, but... SFM's not oh, look, look, oh, Draga Tree Getting speaker. a seventh pick, Draga Tree There's speaker. a Woodfall Primus too, which is honestly one of the best bangers, but I think mm. this is the best one. Oh, yeah. Have, I so. would certainly just snap off Tree Speaker here. Mm. Oh, shit. Wilderness Rift. <laughs> you could take Survival. Did you see that stipulation deck that yeah. someone did and they trophied? I'm going to take Survival, I Survival's think. Survival's not the worst, and you have kind of a lot of creatures already, so. Yeah, I mean, the, the signal is definitely here. Seven pick soul ring, soul ring is actually kind of amazing. Yeah, you did, Bim. Bim, Bim heard. Bim's senses were tingling. Yeah, this uh, the is green deck was being drafted somewhere. This is like a pretty good start. You for can sure. probably get rid of the Soulfire Grand Master. I don't think yeah, we're drafting that. Yeah, that's not that. super likely. I guess. No, what are you doing? What? I was just putting your cards no. in a logical in a logical order. I was trying to figure out what you were doing. I don't like it. Uh, I might take Avalanche Riders. I actually like splashing Avalanche Riders a lot in these decks. You could also take Containment Priest as a sideboard card against Rick Reanimator. I actually like Avalanche Riders. I think the card oh, Johnny can do some stuff. Johnny Wheel, that's weird. I was thinking about taking a Johnny the first time, and his pack was bad. You could take Deed only as a sideboard card against Mono Red. See, yeah, I don't think we can take a Johnny anymore, yeah. though. It's I feel like that ship has sailed. Mm, you could take... Maybe. <laughs> can you take Greaves? Greaves Primeval Titan? It's kind of vroom, a... Vroom, vroom. <laughs> it's, kind of it's kind of a combo. 
Three Fast Five Furious. Oh, it didn't wheel. Interesting. Um, uh, I think I'd probably take Sun Titan. Yeah, get those sun, get some sun on those. Yeah. Oh, we wheeled it. Yeah, sure. So I actually think green is open. We just there weren't that many little creatures. Yeah, I think or like Gilda li- Goose didn't wheel, but like that's just a good card. Is it Gilda Goose? Yeah, it's great. It's a, I think it's better than most of the one drops. Really, I don't like it very much. You don't want all Gilded Geese, but having one goose is nice because it just gains you a bunch of life randomly later in the game. No, I think Gilded Goose is really good. It's also a five-color fixer. Like, I like Gilded Goose better than, like, Abyssin's Pilgrim most of the time. Well, Abyssin's Pilgrim is pretty bad, but I don't know that I like Goose very much. Oh, what do you know? Oh, last Cube Brightling. All-Star Brightling. Stipu- Stipulation Brightling try to Rio. Yeah. yeah, the goose is loose, BK. It's loose in this cube. No, stop. <laughs> Ooh, I actually kind of like that breeding pool. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm in for breeding pool. I am pool. liking that. Oh, I should, we should see Steve. Maybe we'll wheel with Steve. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple good things in this pack. Oh, I just want to take this, though. Yeah, breeding pool makes everything easier. I can't believe you keep trying to... It makes more sense. No, it doesn't. Why do you need to know your survival costs two mana? That doesn't help you. That's, that, that doesn't help you is to figure out your curve. Keep your paws off my... Ooh. I would take Bop now. Man, there's a trap though. Yeah, but the the fir- the value of the first one is, is the highest for sure, because of the fetch lands and whatnot. What's I better know, in cube? But it makes me sad. All right, rip Bop. Press F to pay respects Ooh, for Bop. Cobra? Right, I do love the Lotus Cobra. We're just gonna yeah. take that and move right along. It's also nice that Bop, Cobra, and Kadama's Reach are all five color fixers. Were we crying? BK, there was a trop in that pack. Yeah, but Bop is better than trop though. Did you know the original picture of Trop Island was? Or Birds of Paradise was the picture of Tropical Island. Really? The, the, the Alpha Birds of Paradise picture was gonna supposed to be for Tropical Island. But the birds were like too... Uh, prominent? Prominent, yeah. So they changed it and they were like, this mm. is going to be a Birds of Paradise instead? Yeah. Ooh, that taiga though. Works for our avalanche riders. Oh, I, there's a Gaius Cradle though. Yeah, I would just take Cradle. Yeah. You're, you're not even necessarily splashing red. Also, Cradle with like Hermit and Whisperwood is kind of nice. Oh, people think it was Volk. Was it Volk? Oh. One of those, I guess. Let me get you in the picture better, Louise. Let me... <gasps> Jewel Dog! Hi, Jewel Dog. Lita. Yeah, I would just take Avicen's Pilgrim here over Vincer. Yeah, that seems fine. Let me move my guy's cradle over here. Yeah. Doesn't this make more sense? You have sideboard, land, and spells. Creatures and spells. I like yeah, that. Sure. Yeah, Vendor's good. Also like this. Maybe we can get it on the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, I've been unimpressed with Trigon, to be honest. Really? It is too slow. I feel like there's some matchups where this card is just so good. There's a, definitely know. a card I would play in the right matchup. Oh, I love so Oh, Silver. yeah. Let's take that. Oh, baby. Green Ancestral. But see, isn't it isn't it more relevant that Lotus Cobra costs two than Survival costs two? You're not playing Survival in turn two. So when you say... You the, might. So when you say, my deck needs more two drops, you don't want it to be cluttered up with Survival of the Fittest and All Demonic right, let me tutors. organize it like you. You have to do it like you're. You're just throwing cards around now. You're not even. You're. You're not even pretending to organize it correctly. Okay, okay. All right. Now it makes a lot of sense. Oh, I was right. <clears throat> oh, it was for Trump. You were right. You flexed on chat real good. I like that start. When the green deck is open, it's really good. No, 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 no. I see. I see what you're trying to do. I think we can take the sword. I don't know if I'm even really gonna want to play, but I don't. I haven't been impressed with Toothanail. Sure. It's kind of medium, I think. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, Steve is nice. I like it, BK. That was that was respectable. We yeah. did wield the Steve. And the Fauna Shaman and the Savannah. That's, that's why they call him Honest BK. I call him Honest BK. Mm, no one calls him Honest BK. I call him Honest BK. That makes one person. <clears throat> oh, I beat Molly with that one. But um, see, Molly calls him Honest BK. All right. All right. All right. You're welcome, BK. I assume he meant to thank me as well. Uh, you could take show and tell for the sideboard. But then people are going to suggest that I... It is a good sideboard card. Like, when you play against like a mono red deck, getting able to show and tell a turn three banger is nice. Yeah, I think I'll take Path to Exile for the sideboard. Huh? Yeah, that seems fine. <clears throat> Oh, shoot. Oh, my lord, 609. 
6709, thank you so much for Sweet. the 20. I guess we'll have to use it on corn dogs. I'll take the burrito. <laughs> I'll take the burrito there. Take one for the team. Thanks, Thank you so much. I really appreciate that 6709. Hope you've been enjoying the cube decks and cube and vintage cube drafts. That's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Doretti. I think that card's <clears throat> quite good. Yeah, no, Doretti's really good. Luis, have you seen what the picture of uh, eating corn dogs is? Oh my god. <laughs> have you seen the unmod <laughs> Luis for a day? Oh yeah, I saw it. Don't worry. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. But there's also Nissa. Yeah. And would... soap. Yeah, I would definitely take Nissa. This is awesome. Yeah. I wouldn't mind wheeling the soap, but it's not going to come back. No. It sure won't. Search for tomorrow. Yeah, that's these. I know, poor lady. See, even Lady agreed it was Nissa, though. Even Lady did. Yeah, this is really good. I don't think I would... It's fun in the cube super cavitation. I think it's a, it's a, it's a cool inclusion. How's that there are, There's some decks I've had where I want dry, and there's some decks where I do not... But I think that means that it's like an I cube card. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, we did open power, though, Jay. Hold up. We opened time walk. Oh, Ruffalos. Oh, we did get Brofellows. It's funny. We're like, yeah, Trop makes fetching better, and then just don't have any fetches. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got a, got a hoof, right? Love to see it. There Hope was a chance that is. you could try to wheel, like, take Karn Liberated, and wheel either Hoof or Green Suns, but <laughs> you, but you Hoof is just such a Hoof is just such a nuts card. That's disrespectful. That's not allowed. These are all bad. Oh uh, yeah, they're pretty bad. You could take Beast Within at least just for sideboard it. I don't even know that you actually sideboard that card in ever. Uh, so. No, I've I've never liked playing with that card. The only times I played it are when I, I like was oh, Prismatic Beast, Stella yeah. Beast, baby. You need a couple playables here, but you, you should be fine. Oh man, Smokey, I still need to go read the Oracle Courses thread. Did you hear about this thread? Uh, or you I, told I, me about I it. I commented on the thread when you it originally told, happened. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Yes. I it, still need to go look at it. It was a bunch of people who now I think are worse at Cube because <laughs> they said that Courser was better than Oracle. And some even <laughs> yeah, were like, it wasn't yeah, close. You best watch out. If you comment on one of those threads and you have an uninformed opinion, Luis's opinion of your Cube skills are going to go down. <laughs> It's more the people who comment with a high degree of certainty who also claim to cube a lot. <laughs> there are a lot of people who are very like... Because I think there's a lot of cube enthusiasts and there are some people who are cube snooty. Right. That, think, it's more to second. And I think it's the people who are cube snooty who also then just say like, I am right and there's only this way and it's the only right opinion yeah. and then it's just wrong. <laughs> yeah, like Melissa, the people were like, I can't believe it. So the original question was Courser of Crufix or Oracle of Moldiah and... It's Oracle by a mile, but it's funny people who are confidently saying Courser, it's not even close. And, and anyone yeah. who says the other thing is just dumb and wrong. Yeah. Well, they uh, weren't. They didn't say that. No, but, but that, yeah. what I'm saying is like this is like the mo for some people when they come sure, online. Yeah. There's like no like, there's no nuance. It's all just like black and white. I wouldn't say Garrick. I think yeah. I like the better than Siggy. Can we get an Eternal Witness? No? That would be nice. I don't want any of these. Uh, Dynamo might actually be fine here. Mm. I mean, you've got some expensive cards. Ooh, Ooh. she wheeled. Yeah, Lady's nice. Yeah, I like that, Smokey. That is just um, accurate. Bloodbraid Elf actually fits into this deck. Yeah, I think I'd actually Bloodbraid here. Can you imagine Bloodbraid Elfing into Time Walk? It holy, does sound pretty good. Holy moly. Chat, hold me. Um, Hidden Ryu, I think that the um, comparison is that course is a 2 4, it gains you one life, uh, it also costs one less. And the other one, you play two lands, but it's only a 2-2. Two, two, it doesn't gain you life. Um, but... I would Rage and Ravine. It's a really good uh, Titan hit, too. Sure. So, how are we doing for fixing? We have, like, Very pretty good. decent... Uh, I wouldn't red. play the Copperline Gorge. I, I don't like those lands when yeah, you have the fellows. I think we will play the Ravine in this deck, Ravine's though. actually good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't have to play Sturdy Wild either. Basically, you're probably going to play one mountain, one island, the rest forest, and just go... Why is it? Is it Signet still there? Um, honestly, you, you're not going to play Ren and Six, I don't think. Isn't that an okay sideboard card? I could take the Signet. Well, you take Is it Signet if you're going to take a Signet. Oh, sure, because it's yeah, Splash. I think you might actually walk. play Is it Signet, which is kind of weird. Oh, okay. We've got to give this a forever home, obviously. 
Weird. And uh, still there. Yeah, North says that does not surprise me. So apparently, Graham from LRR is basically off streaming Cube Dress forever because of how vehemently some people get about picking that they disagree with. So I actually oh. had an interesting experience with this. I, um, when I first started cubing, and, and, and I do think Cube has like one of the highest barriers to entries in Magic because it's hard. Like, hold on, let's build this. Actually, this might just be built. Yeah, no, this is fine. The only thing I would consider is the Greaves. Yeah. And that's literally. If you're a Bloodblade in the Greaves, you're just going to be so, so mad. So, Taiga, not you. You, you, not you. Not you. You. Kind of awkward with our Ruffellos. Not you. You. We only have two non. We're going to end up with like four non Ruffellos lines. So, we in our do deck. need a blue source because we have Search for Tomorrow and Steve. I would play a red source too. And I think. we need a red source for the same reason. So, we go one, one, and then the rest. Forest, and that's the deck. So end up with 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 primary green. Yeah, that's that's good. Ah, that looks pretty good. So when I first started cubing, um, it was like on, and I was streaming. And this is also when, it, it was, this was a long time ago, so I was also a much newer Magic player, and I felt a lot less confident in my both cubing abilities, drafting abilities, and like playing abilities. And also it's, cube, like streaming's hard. So you add that to all of it. And so I remember the first time I started doing cube drafts, I actually enjoyed it. Like I thought cube was cool, but I found it very stressful. And I remember because I also wasn't sure how to draft, I was like looking at chat for way more advice. Like no, I still do now to kind of like sure. do drafts that go off the rails and that sort of stuff. But I like, I'm pretty confident in all the archetypes and I know how the cards interact with each other and all that stuff. And I remember like, doing one cube draft and then switching to a different format because it was so stressful to try to just cube all the time because people in chat did do that there were a lot of people in chat who felt super confident about what your pick was supposed to be and as it turns out like there's a lot of right wrong and in the middle opinions about cube um yeah exactly arc so i'm not surprised that the james went through that because i i literally went through that too and I'm glad I kind of powered through it because now cube is my favorite format and I love yeah. cubing, but it really did take like years to get to this point. Um, yeah, yeah and, and there's also a lot of people who've cubed for many, many years who have strong opinions and, and you know. That's true, what Molly's saying. Yeah. Uh, Miser Lou, thank you so much for the two months. Also like they learning how to cube better. Stuff. Like I learned to cube better from you. I learned to cube better from BK. I learned to cube from Paul and when you do that and then you feel confident about some picks, you're like, you no longer feel like, oh, I'm doing everything wrong. It just feels like, oh, we're doing things differently and that's okay. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of different ways to play cube. That is a reasonable position. It was nice having Paul on Magic FM. That was really cute. I know, I miss Paul. I miss Paul too. Yes, I did, Miser Lou. Ooh, Mono Green Mirror. Well, they have a great one drop. You're you're being difficult. What? Mm -hmm. You're being difficult. Oh baby, yeah. hold me. This is this is gonna go well. Paul, what was your introduction to Twitch? When I first started watching Twitch, I only watched Numa and Paul. That was like that was it. <gasps> Smokey, Smokey, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Ooh, with a three sixty five gifted subs, subs all the way around the world. Oh, sweet. Thank you so much, Smokey. I really appreciate that, and I really appreciate you supporting the stream. Yeah, it's an entire year of subs for Smokey Loki. Air Spencer, all good dogs. Yeah, they are all good dogs. The Crimson. Bleak. Yeah, Gabby doesn't, Gabby doesn't complain about not opening power because she always opens power. Oh wow. Oh jeez, this is gonna be a my race. My opponent's my opponent's hands looking better than ours. Yeah, being on the draw might not might have cost you here. Yeah. That was a good draw, though. I mean, we just play Land Ruffell, Yeah, right? you might as well play Breeding. Sure. Well, I don't think it's going to but... Oops. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. But yes, if we were on the play, I, I assume we would have won this game, and I assume they're going to win on the play here. Nah, uh, Sol Ring's amazing, Hidden Ryu. It is worse out of, outside of Cube in, like, other, like when it was an invention in Kaladesh, it is worse there relatively, but it's still a card you're always going to take. It's especially not some cubes because like, the cards are insane. Yeah, their Brofellos is better than ours. Or... 
I mean, one of them is a cradle, but it kind of offsets the fact that they have creatures. Oh. Sure. Yeah, six foot. This is going to be a worse super dead, or we are winning by so much. This is like the real, real Spider-Man situation I here. Know. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> well, this is no longer looking that real Spider-Man-y, given their their grin board. Oh, we're getting Rage and Ravine too. We're getting Mega. But you can get Ravine and Cradle. You'll have like exactly the same board. <laughs> I kind of want to do that just so that we can also well, take also a screenshot. It's also the right, pay, right. Well, play, yeah, yeah, it is one. Oh no. Nah. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't. I think there's like a reason to. Does it matter to leave the bird on top? Well, you might actually want to play Whisperwood. But Why? Because of Crater Hoof. But I think I'd still just play Prime Titan. It's actually kind of close. I just feel like we don't really want them attacking with. Like, I think we want to trade Titan for Titan when they attack. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really accomplish, like, a whole lot. It makes well, us not die as quickly. Then we can Whisperwood and then set up for Hug. So if you play Whisperwood this turn, you'll have four creatures in play next turn. Hope will be the fifth creature. It sounds better. The extra creature was so much damage. Like, you're just trying to end this game next turn. Sure. All right. If that's the case, then maybe just go yeah. like that. So. Oh man, we're gonna miss out on the six Spider Man pointing at each other equity. Yeah, I know. But, right, you're gonna have 25, 29, 31 points of trample, so they actually have to have like a lot of toughness back. Is it, is it, is it signet? And they're incentivized to attack with the Titan. So, the problem is if you play Titan, get two lands, then you trade, they got m more lands and got yeah, to untap. Yeah, they got four lands and we get two and they get to untap. So, just... Brofellos is going to be four, five, six, seven, eight, and then swing yeah. with these three. And that's a lot. And the bird. One of them is blockable, yeah. The, the burb. And the, yeah, well, you'll, you'll, you'll get to swing with four things because they'll the have two. Oh, sure. So, I mean. Well, they might also just, uh, if they help us here, we're also just dead. So. Yeah, yeah. That that doesn't change. It would be very funny if they also just had the hoof in and it was truly Spider Man yeah. pointing at each other I mean, you had all a, the you, way down. You had a turn four kill here. If you were on the play. Yeah, our deck was sick. We got debated by being on the drum. If they're, like, trying to animate Raging Ravine, that oh. wouldn't be too bad. Okay. That's fine. Well, I like these, like, small ball plays. Yeah. Like Huntmaster or whatever. God, they still have eight mana. <laughs> they have Infi, basically. Nine mana? Yeah, it's uh, strictly better than uh, than Oracle of Moldiah, Corsair Crufix Lumars. <laughs> Bum, 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 this is rough because I feel like we're dead, but like bum, 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 bum. we might just win next. They're just like though. going going deep in the tank here. Yeah, and... they're just doing stuff and things. Doretti. <laughs> okay. Jeez. What are they gonna bend? They bend a forest, so they draw that hunt master. Sure. They can play it. I think they can. Yeah, they they sack. They have to tap the goose, but they sacked off this for red, and then they. They, tap they, this they haven't for played four. a mountain yet. I don't think. I don't know actually. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think they played. They play oh it. yeah, they're trying to do this too. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna put them next turn anyway. If they don't attack with Titan, you can't kill them. But don't they still have to block? Yeah, I would imagine things go well for you at that point. I'd be surprised if they didn't attack with Titan, but maybe... I mean, they should trade off the Titan. Especially that would be so weird. Their top, card, their top card's also crap, yeah. Yeah. You're, they're actually not dead even with... Uh, they're going to take ton, though. They're going to take a decent amount of damage, yeah. But Corsair is being really obnoxious. That is for sure. They're doing 31, so they have to put 8 toughness in the way. So they can keep their. They didn't sack their food, luckily. No. You actually could draw one drop. Cassiax! Thank you so much for the four months. Yeah. Brutal. As always, yeah, I mean, I would, I would help him. Yeah. Work. I mean, for all the, the you could also play a Titan. 
but I think wait I think waiting so you're gonna do 25 31 oh 36 damage they have to put 13 toughness huh they get to no, no, this actually works, I this, think. This looks yeah. good, to, good enough to yeah. me. Kelsey X, thank you so much for the four months. I really appreciate that and supporting this. So you're doing 36 now. damage, and they're effectively thank at you. 25, 29, 34. Ha, you get him by two. <laughs> really? Yeah. I thought it was close enough that it was yeah. till it's worth, but... Yeah, Hoof is good. Yeah, yeah. Crater Hoof is good. No, no, they're, they're actually dead. They, if and they you had were sacked... sliding Hoof earlier, you're like, I guess we'll take the Crater Hoof. I was the one who wanted to play the Whisperwood to attack for Leafless. That's true, right that's true, now. that's true. But you, but you were disrespecting the hook. I didn't say we it. shouldn't take it. I said there was a thought about whether you could try to get an extra card out of that pack. But I, I, I agree hoof is better. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't counting the actual hoof itself. Yeah, they're dead. It doesn't matter how they block. If they had sacked the food with the two Lotus Cobra mana, they would have not died. But I understand why they didn't. <laughs> Am I out of touch? No, I tell us V who's wrong. They okay. Did, they didn't block with a Gilded Goose, and they'll just die? They're just dead anyway, I think. Oh! oh. They put them to one? Oh, well, oh. I guess we math wrong. Whatever. Six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11. Well, you're not that, because you, you get a token in a turn. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was a lot of math. <laughs> it, it was 31. Oh, they have Beast Within. Oh, but Beast Within doesn't actually matter because... Oh! It, it doesn't get a block no, out No, they, the they can. They can. They can put it in front of prime time. Yeah, but you just block the... Oh, I guess as, long as, block the as long as we block not... Doesn't Ravine have... Tra okay. No. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, it really was, Janus. There was a lot of... I was, I was counting the Rafello's five damage for some reason. It's okay. We, mm. we Gucci. We lived... Uh, sort of body and mind's probably fine. What do we take out? You might want to take out Avalanche Riders. On the draw, you're just not really yeah, going to have time to screw around with that, fine. I don't think. I think I want anything else. Yeah, Beast Within on Titan is just not that effective, honestly. It's probably fine. I can't believe we won that game on the draw. Yeah, I mean, Crater Hoof is a messed up card. Ooh, she's coming. Julita! Jules! 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 Wait. Oh, a puppy! Come here. Come here, puppy. Jeez, that's horrible. Hi, puppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not good you. enough. I want to pet you. I'm going to mully it. Let me pet you, Julita. Oh, he's so good. Oh, this game looks awful, too. Yeah, I'll keep it, though. Okay, what do we send back? You might want to send back survival. survival. Yep. Agreed. Oh my god, look at her. She's so cute. Oh, yeah. Nice. That was good. I still think I want to suspend this. Yeah. Oh, that's really awesome. No, I would suspend it. I would suspend it. Because the thing is, like, the Lotus Cobra doesn't even help unless you get a third land anyway. That's true. So you either draw the land next turn and can play the Cobra, and that's fine. Or you don't draw a land next turn, play Ravine, then turn, and then next turn if you draw a land, you can Blood Braid off the search. I like it. Yeah. God, always were fellows, huh? Well, they didn't have one drop, so... Awkward. Yeah. I think uh, she's been treated fully today, Decca. I think she's gotten three treats today already. Plus, it's hard to do it when I have a guest here, so tomorrow might be a better day anyways. This looks big. Hunt Master of the Fields. Okay. Yeah, forest. <laughs> um. Yikes. This is like pretty yikes. I just play Signet. I don't know. Playing the Lotus Cobra doesn't really do much. Uh, feels bad. All right, well, we're probably going to play a third game here. That's my, uh, my uh, assumption. Yeah, same. 
You basically bricked on turn three. Yeah, that was bad. That's fine, actually. <laughs> yeah. Cap, I like it. You sent a message. I like that there were like four incinerate points redemptions at the beginning of the stream. That was kind of sick. Ren in 6A. And just take up. What are we going to do next turn? Just blood braid off and see what happens. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's pretty bad. 14. You can cope. Well, the problem with Cobra is it doesn't really accomplish anything thanks to stupid Ren and 6. Six. I think we just blood braid and hope for the best. You could also just dynamo sword. Oh, that actually might be better. Yeah. I don't know that Blood Braid's even gonna even gonna do much. Too bad you can't dynamo Blood Braid. Nah, whatever. Yeah. Dynamo Sword Brutal. There's no story shorty, that's all it does. It's a channel points redemption called Incinerate Points. End story. That's all it does. Mm -hmm. But you send a message when you do it. You can't trust the system. Yeah, drawing a Tarka would be good. Tarka would be sick. Can you imagine a Tarka on this board? Can we just do, here's what, here's what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna right. blood bring a time, time walk, equip sword and get two hits. I like it. Exactly, Nether. Minus 600. Oh, that was stupid. You know, seven. You could also just play Avenger of Zendikar and then play a land. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's gotta be good. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be better than Blood Braid. Mm -hmm. I kind of liked your initial plan, though. That's kind of sweet. And then you can equip We can sword. equip. I'd probably equip it to the Avenger. Or you could equip it to, a, to one of the tokens, actually. That might even be better. Just so that just so you have two big I blockers. I have two big blockers. Yeah. All right, that's, I accept. I mean, this is pretty good, yeah, I think. I, mean, I think we're but, rallying. Like, if we draw Hoof, we're in great shape. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, Miser Lou, I, I took... This is a secret. I don't want to eat the corn the dogs. Basically, they, they flooded out pretty badly. Like, they had a... And this is why I don't like cards like Huntmaster, Ren and Six. Like, cards that aren't... Like, Wall's fine because it replaces This itself. is where, like, Viv and stuff is, like, pretty nice. Basically, right? like, I like ramp spells and I like payoffs, but I don't like the mid-range stuff that is really not either, you know? Mm-hmm. I guess Blood Braid kind of falls into that category, but it has some pretty high upside in your deck. It's also, in, I was going to say, in our deck we have stuff like, oh, going down six? Jeez. They can't even attack you. They're going to flip their Hunt Master. The feels. <laughs> Kill one of your plants, I guess. Four. And nug yeah. me. So, you might as well start with blood braid off and see, because if you if you do hit actual time walk, well, I don't think you, I don't know if you want to tap it. I guess it doesn't really matter. Don't I want to tap the dynamo? Well, use the colorless for two. You'd end up with mana floating, which would commit you to playing something before pre combat. Oh, sure. So then maybe just. Like, leaving Dynamo and two green sources untapped is probably better, but I don't know if it matters a ton. Like that? Yeah. Sure. Time walk. Come on, walks. time walk, baby! <gasps> oh! Amazing! Oh. Oh. Right. Now, now. That was so sick. Yeah. So, do we... That was so pog. Holy moly. <laughs> 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 Love to see it. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Cube is such grass. Oh yeah. Cube was amazing. That was pretty good. Wow. <laughs> they weren't even just dead, but they were. That was a tilt scoop. Yeah, yeah. I would also to be fair, I would also be tilted at my Because they opponent. were probably also already tilted that they were like getting a little flooded and had no nothing to play with yeah, ten mana. Yeah. <laughs> and also their deck was very good. Yeah. Like <laughs> This yeah. is pretty okay. Yeah. Let's keep it. I think so, Miser Lou. That's why I keep him close. Mm -hmm. I want to mooch off the yeah. luck. I'll open the power. He can bring all the luck. I was just going to forest, I think. Yeah. Mm -bop. That was amazing. Mm -bop. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't really know what they say. They just say nonsense. Yeah. I 
Um, but they, they could block beer mist. Oh, no, they couldn't. All right, we had pro green. We could just mill them. Yeah, they weren't dead, though. They weren't dead in two hits. Um, they had, like, 20, cards 27 they cards left or something. Okay. Um, I guess it's just Steve breeding pool. Mm-hmm. No worries, my feet. It is vintage cube. So you don't actually have to sax a crow tri builder here. Uh, I believe the flimped hunt master is red green, right? Yeah, it's 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 red green. We did Cal. We uh we hit time walk off of a blood braid elf. It was glorious. Yeah, I think I'll keep it. It just seems like we don't really need it. Nice. I can just Guy's Cradle Whisper would know. Yeah. How's that sound? Seems good. You like it? Hope they don't have a removal spell, but I think that's okay. That'd be stupid. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, shoot. That was my bad. It's only one point of damage, but... If they kill Whisperwood, you also can sack it, and then after that resolve, sack the Sakura Tribe Elder. And you get a manifest. <laughs> yeah, you get additional manifest that's, value. That's good tech. Costless, I like getting the... Ooh, spooky. I was going to say, Grixis is going to have an issue with a Whisperwood this early, but we'll Black see Lotus what they're... Black Lotus a lot of times finds an answer. Black Lotus finds a way. Yeah... Yo, Mangy! Thank you so much for the prime sub. Oh, Whatever. Uh, Ryan, I forgot to attack with it last turn. I, I clicked too fast for my combat. Let's just dash. Yeah, you might as well keep the land in hand. Not you. Because uh, in case you draw Avenger or something. Sure, that's fair. <laughs> well, we can flip him, but he yeah. won't have any plants. Yeah. Are you a plant? No. Well, you can flip it into a 5-5 five five at least. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's better than a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, boom, got him. <laughs> it really is Miser Lou. I don't know. I've never attacked with a Sakura Tribe Elder in my life, so I didn't really think it was possible. All right, I think we're going to do some flipperinos. Yeah, Miser. Flipperoni. Do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. Yeah, she's coming back, she's coming back. Hi, Jules! Hey, Hi, Jules! Jules. Good hey, girl, Jules. you calm. Good. Good, girl, Good girl, Julie. Good, girl, Jules. Good girl. Give her a little pet. Good girl. Oh. Riley Car what is that beep? Uh, so we're training Julie to not lose her shit on stream, basically. Rally Choir Tower, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, friends. We are doing some vintage cube today. We have a mono green nonsense deck with time walking splashing red. How was your stream, Riley? I really appreciate that. What up, nerds? I'm, I'm surprised you heard something, BK. Only dogs and really loose people can can, <laughs> can, can hear it. It's at such a frequency. <laughs> oh, <we have> <laughs> um... It's supposed to be... Okay. Oh, Jesus. That is really bad for us, actually. Yeah. Yikes. Um, Ark, you're supposed to only get... Give her the treats if she is calm and... Uh, yeah, we might be dead here. I'm gonna play my Lotus Cobra, but I think maybe we're dead next turn. There's nothing you can manifest that changes anything, right? I don't think so. Let me look at the deck. Yeah, no. Nope. Might as well just play, yeah. right? All right. Hi, Hujan is welcome. Oh! That would have been a nice draw. That would have been such a sick draw. You know they have it. There's no way they don't have it. have it. It's right here. Huh. 
Hmm. Oh, well, dogs. Um, <coughs> Arg. So, <coughs> from what I've read about this, this part of the training, it's like... That sounds good. Um... You're only supposed to... It's, it's more about, like, interrupting the pattern because something that happens with dogs, too, is they they get riled up. And then once they get in, like, barking mode, they're just in barking mode. And uh, so part of it is to distract her to stop her from doing the barking. And then when she's calm and stops barking, then she gets the treat. So the point is that she's supposed to associate that stopping the barking and uh, not going ham is what gets her the treat. Yeah. So... Because it's, there's some stuff that's weird with dogs, Ark. For example, like when the dog's really scared of stuff, um, giving them treats when they're really scared isn't like make it reinforcing them to be scared of the thing. Like th these are some natural reactions that dogs have. So giving her a treat when she's really scared actually is supposed to just like comfort her, for example. Oh my God, Smokey, lol. <laughs> it's just like, a, all it does, it's like a high pitched sound. So as soon as she starts barking, you click it and then she realizes like, Oh, huh, I wonder what that is. So she comes investigate. So the whole point is to just kind of like interrupt. And it's been working really well. Like she yeah. she no, has really not good. Yeah, it's been really good. She has not been barking that much on stream. She has not really been barking that much at night. We mostly just want her to not like lose her shit at night because we wanna don't wanna bother our neighbors. So let's keep this. That's great. Man, they had turn three mind twist, turn four best right, turn five twin. That yeah. was pretty good. Too bad you did got mind twist to that avalanche riders would have been decent. Mm, let me just buff. hey Z speed thank you for the four months but yeah i i think it's been really helpful i've tried a couple of other things to kind of train julie to bark less and this has been the only thing that has been pretty effective i think Z speed yeah gabby plays limited basically every day right uh yeah basically i mean i play construct it really kind of goes in bursts what what, what just happened Oh, what went wrong? They had twin. They had twin combo. Blood Braid Elf. Sure. Whisper's really good. I actually like Whisper with Mono Green. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I like it a lot. We also have Hook. Well, the way they asked the question was implying that that was a bad thing. Oh, I see. No, nah, no. Nah, we Gucci. I think yeah. just Sylvan and Absence Pilgrim. Mm -hmm. We'll hold on to the Vista to... Turn on Goblin Guide led to a turn on win at, at, at uh, PT San Diego. They played turn on Goblin Guide attack and revealed Damnation, a card that had rotated out like a couple <gasps> of so far. So, so, so that person got DQ'd. Oh, wow. Awkward. But well, I think they just got a they, match loss, they, actually. What did they have at some point, like, cast that anyway? It was round one. Oh, wow. Three and should count. Yeah, why didn't we draw that? That was stupid. Julita. Jules. Hi, puppy. Good girl. Hi, Julie. What <laughs> the hell is going on over there? I don't know. Hi, Jules. But now you have Sil Hi. Sylvan plus Blood Braid. Hi, Julie. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Got some thickness. Yeah, it really is. We can't set up the blood braid, sadly. No, it's okay. I think we. I think what you probably want to do is just like. Pay. <laughs> I would not pay. No. I kind of want to though. No, you don't really need any of these. You could probably just keep. You could. You could keep Dynamo on top and or draw Dynamo, put the other two back, and then just shuffle. Sure. All right. So let me top. I just don't think you need any of those uh, cards. And I would just shuffle and play Whisperwood, I think. Yeah. I would not play Blood Braid. I would play oh. Whisperwood. <laughs> oh, you mean with Vista? Yeah. I see. I see. Uh, Pure Mountain, you have a couple cards that are pretty good to tutor. Specifically Crater Huff. Mountain seems fine here. Yeah, I think I'll just get that. <laughs> then you can Blood Braid next turn. Yeah, this is going to work out okay. Maybe we'll get to set up the Blood Braid. I don't know if their deck is actually just like like a Grix, like, I don't know, red, black, blue, 
Maybe like, it's like a Grixis Tempo deck or something. I maybe it's know. just like Mono. Maybe it's like those twin decks that try to burn you out. Maybe it's just like Mono Red that's splashing Rakdos Return and Pestermite plus twin. I don't know. Nah, we can't play Dynamo plus Blood Raid. The, the mana cost there just have not worked out exactly right. Next turn we will be able to if we if we hit a land. <laughs> well, John is that's the that's the that's wow. the trick. I do not want to Ooh, we got a land. Love it. Yeah, I blocked the manifest. Yeah. Seems like they're up to so too spooky. Thank you for the eleven. That's the joke, Hujan, is I don't wanna actually to corn dog on stream. If I ever did channel rewards, my, my corn dog roar re redemption would be a little lower. Yeah. Probably like a hundred points. Yeah. Ooh. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, just plow under sounds really good. I'm just gonna put these two yeah. back. Uh pop pop. Alright, should we just plow yeah. them? Probably Steam, these two. Yeah, those two, exactly. And this is great because you're gonna manifest Titan, so then next turn you can just unmorph and attack with Titan. Love it. Love to see it. Oh no. Oh, that's fine. They're they're not gonna come close this game to burning you out. I mean, that, that is correct for them to do. I just don't think it yeah. matters very much. No, I think I put the Titan sec... I think the Titan's going to get manifested. That's what I tried to do, at least. Maybe I did it wrong. Six here. Oh, shoot. I did do it wrong. I guess yeah. we're drawing the Titan now, which is fine to cast two. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing just fine. Like the only way I can really think of us losing this game is Fire Blast. It's possible you want to just Blood Braid and try to hit Time Walk anyway. Just to try to kill him fast. Because either way, they're dead in two turns. The yeah. Titan doesn't change what much at all. Yeah, Pure Man Fred, Mythical Line is not not super friendly to to beginners. It really is not. I do think that once you get over that initial hurdle, it's actually quite fun to play on Magic Online. Like, it is... I think it's easier to play Magic on Magic Online than Arena. I do too. I I find that to be, it to be a more pleasant experience. Like, but... I, I think Arena's cooler to look at, and it has yeah. sweet animations, and for, like, the viewing perspective, you can hover over cards. Um, and it, you can also, like, read the cards on Magic Online. But Arena is way more, like, like cool explosions, that sort of thing. But just suspended Ancestral Mission. It's really weird. See, like, here, I might just put draw Survival and just cast Blood Braid to hope to hit Time Walk. So put these two back. Yeah. Mm, that's fine. It does not change the clock at all. No. <laughs> Beats. Whatever. Not you. It's almost time walk. Close. Not that close. All right. I think we are doing just fine. Oh, I can flip a Rooney that thing. <laughs> it's true. Make it smaller. <laughs> Yeah, personally, that's part of it for me, too. Like, I do like that you can customize it to have all the stops that you want. It, it I, I do find it annoying that you can't do that on Arena. And I understand why they don't let you do that, but it doesn't mean that I have to like it. Their deck's a little different than we anticipated. I don't know if we change what we're going to board in. I mean, we'll... Dragonlord Atark is looking kind of bad here. Well, we'll be bored in instead of her. Garak still. Doesn't do anything. Sort of body and mind try to kill him fast. Yeah, I don't really like any of those options. Probably Garrick. I don't know. You could also just put in like Mutavolt as an additional like early play. That's just kind of that seems that. so bad. I'll just put Garrick in. Seems fine. Yeah, that's the other thing. Third Gatekeeper. Whenever I play the Wilderness Reclamation, I much prefer to play. On, on, sounds good. On Moto. Yeah, it sounds really good. So what are we doing? Like. Birds on one Sylvan search on turn two. 
Jeez. Yeah, Gatekeeper, we talk about the Reclamation decks all the time. Avenger, that's a pretty good one. That's a banger. What do you think? That's probably right. Yeah, birds on one. I mean, you could Soldier suspend search on, search on one, birds on two. And then you have Whisperwood on three, but... Oh, I don't know, That's it's close. But we'll just get to Sylvan, and then we'll get some action. Yeah, I actually might just suspend search. Just playing yeah. the Whisperwood on three is so much better. Playing the Whisperwood on three is very good. Like, Sylvan's not as good when you can't pay the life. And against this deck, you're not really paying the life, so... Sure, that's fair. They, they, they do seem to want to be a burn deck. They have a shrine. Ooh, they're very aggro. Yeah. This looks like an aggro Grixis deck that also happens to have twin. Oh, like I just put Cobra here. Yeah, I think so. It's gonna be good with Vista next turn. Yeah, the odds that you untap with this Cobra and play like yeah, on Super probably, High. They're probably incinerated, but... But, what can you do? I think emotes are dead right now, Squirrel. Oh, mm, maybe we sure. get to free roll this. Now if they want to play their Swamp, they probably can't kill... Macobra. Oh, yeah, I just take it now. Yeah, that sounds like... Ooh. And you get to Vista into it. Oh, no, you even have to search for tomorrow coming, so you can play Birds and uh, Whisperwood. Too bad you can't use the, 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 the Cobra mana. Yeah. Uh, what do we get? Blue or red, it doesn't matter which one. I guess I'll get red. Because I think you're going to want to Vista for the other one. Sure. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> that was really sad. Uh, oh. So do we maybe want to do that? In, uh, we're at 12. Nah, we nah, have to you, you play Whisperwood first. So I go birds. I can play birds first, yeah. right? Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Where you play it in. Yeah, and, then, and then I go yeah. Vista. And I just get Island here. Make green. Get Island. Uh... Yes, make green. Whisper Dad. And the Rakdos is returning their deck. Doesn't really sound seem very good if they don't draw Lotus. No, not really. Uh, no, Smokey, I don't read any of my old articles. I might hit with the Cobra. You think? Mm, you could, you could, yeah. Maybe. I think I'd rather leave yeah, back for blocks. We're at 11. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of blockers, but... Yeah, but if they have one removal spell, like, we yeah. would have wanted to have the Cobra back. Yeah, for sure. If they have, like, a Dread Boar or something. Yeah, nonsense. I don't know. It just seems like they have Incinerates and stuff like that. And then... Gavi Wiper, lol. Chandra? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's too bad. It's not good, but... Yeah, they're gonna. So you can sack or whisper. I'll and sack it, the whisper. And that makes their attacks like a lot less impressive. Swing. Like, are they even attacking? Or Maybe. manifest a forest? Yeah, just the forest. Surprising. One, two, three, four. I'm drawing Nissa. Oh, you're drawing Nissa. Wow, that's actually pretty good, huh? That makes me want to block more things. Well, you're going to get manifested, so... I think I might... Oh, shoot. Oh, I think... We could just block with a forest. No, I think you do all three. I think you put four... You just block all, all... each on one of the creatures. Like? It, it doesn't matter which ones, actually. As long as you don't put... Yeah, you want to put bird on the monster system. Yeah. But the rest mm -hmm. don't matter. I think... I think that part yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. Because look, now you take zero damage, and you get to manifest twice, and then you see you can kill their Chandra. And then on your turn, you can avalanche rider. Like, we can ride. I think I'd kill their... the swamp? Maybe? I think I'd kill their island just to... Yeah. Shut out. They have more blue cards, I think. And you care about Pestermite. You don't really care about the... Sure, that's fair. So let's go one, two, three, four. Kill the island. Yeah. So I think we want to leave back the avalanche riders, probably. Yeah, I like that. And attack the Chandra and attack them. Yeah. Like that? Good. Yeah. All right. This worked out fairly well, Yeah, I think. it was not too bad. Now they don't have a Chandra sure anymore. They have three cards, and we have a free block with the avalanche riders because you're never going to pay for it anyway. 
And then next turn we can go Kadama's Reach into Sylvan, set up for Avenger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not too shabby. I mean, they started with Goblin Guide into Swisper into Abbott or whatever, into Chandra. And... Yeah, Whis yeah, did you see how good Whisperwood was there? Whisperwood's Whisper just a great did, card. did a lot of work. Whisperwood put four creatures into play. I kind of feel like they shouldn't have attacked. Three creatures into play. They should not have attacked. Because if they just imagine if they just passed and had Chandra up. Chandra is like so much more annoying. Yeah. Instead, they traded Goblin Guide and Abbott. So you could trade down from three creatures to two creatures. I think maybe they forgot what Whisper Dad did. Yeah, there's so a I good think chance. a lot of people do. Yee! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright. Jeez. Take two. Mm -hmm. There was seven here. So now we actually do kind of want to draw a cheap drop if we can. Yikes. Yeesh. Yeah, do your things. Now, now I'm scared. Fiery Confluence did oh, yeah. a lot I, I there. Feel, I feel like we might be dead here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I guess next turn we do get to Avenger for seven plants and play a forest. Okay, figures, good news. If they don't have a burn spell here, I think we're actually doing fine. They, uh, I bet they have it. They have incinerate. Okay, well, they have to have another one now. So now we're dead to any burn spell, but luckily that's the they one. They only have one card in hand. Yeah, what if they just draw an Ancestral Vision or something, or a Pester Miter, a Splinter Twin, Yeah, you know? just something small. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. Um. We don't need the Cradle this turn. No. So we can keep, like... I'll just keep the Beast within, I think. Sure. Top, top. And then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a lot we die to, but we're probably not taking combat damage anymore. Yeah, that, I agree with that. We're, we probably are dead, though. It seemed like their deck had a lot of stuff that could kill us. Well, they don't have any, they don't, they don't have any one or two damage burn spell. I think they don't have yeah. anything right now. Because otherwise they would have just they would have just killed you. Sure. How long does it take for this thing to fly? To, to A long time. Oh, yeah. It's really, really far. Time walk would be by far our best draw here. That would be amazing. All right. I think I might just take Sakura Tribe Builder because it shuffles away those two things. Yeah, I think so. So top, top. I think we should start attacking. I agree. What do we attack with? Uh, they're 18. They can make figure into a 4-4, four, four, but I guess you can also beast it if you want to. I don't know if you care. Um, so it's 1, then 3, then 6. Yeah, so they're not going to be able to make it into they a 6. They can do 3 here, and they can they could do 6 next turn, but uh, we would have beast them. They can't, because it has to be Boros mana. Their swamp doesn't Oh, have... their swamp debates them. Yeah. Hey, Pav. Welcome. How many do you think we attack with? Like... Surgeons have four four. I'd probably attack with like Avenger and like five of the plants or something like that. Can't they trade it for my Avenger? Isn't that bad? Well, if they double block Avenger and then they take ten, they're just dead next turn. That's true. Alright. So Avenger and today's the last day of Cubia. One, two, how many do we say? I think five. Four, five. Yeah. Yeah, that seems okay. No, we can't go all Danny. That would kill us. Yeah, nice sack elder. Yeah. I don't. I don't think we we care. We kill the figure. I don't think it's worth it. No. God, drawing time walk here would be so clutch. I would like to use the ability. Really, the question is whether you want to beast within the uh, the wandering fumarole on their turn. I don't think you do. I think you just pass. I think we pass and see what they do. Yeah. Um, do if they lotus and then and then pump up the figure, 
No, no, no. They're just paying a cost. They're just killing us. Oh, no, Damn. no, 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 no. Oh. All right. I guess killing their... Uh, I, I guess, guess killing, killing the funeral, funeral would have worked. Would've, would've been good. <laughs> uh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. I'm not going to beast it. No. Okay, we win. Nice. End of turn is beast within one of your lands. Yeah. That does work, doesn't it? Yeah. Huh? They block two things, they take ten. Well. Sick. Sick, so. Uh, hold on. Let me go one, two, three. And then beast one of these. Wow. That was really close. Yeah, it was. Jeez. Did not. Oh, well. Well. Whew. Should I flex? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously we had it. All right. No, uh, we obviously didn't have it. We I, have to, I have to stay for the last minute. Yes, of course you have to. Hmm. That was so sick. <laughs> yeah. Might as well. Molly, she tanks the most when she's got, like, automatic wins. No, that's not... <laughs> This narrative is going to continue. I mean, it's like kind of true. That's where it's a narrative <laughs> in the first place. Oof. We trophying? It was a trophy step. Uh, yes, this was a trophy step. <laughs> Molly, I was just nervous. <laughs> I was nervous. Close game. Not sure what's going to happen. Oh, man, we, we forgot to attack Scourge. Oh, brother. All locked up. They're tapped out. End of turn. Hold on, hold on. Untap everything. Let me just make sure I've targeted the right <laughs> land with my beast within which if I, I target any nervous. permanent, I win. I was nervous. <laughs> yes, I, I should have squirrel. I should have been like beep. I should get the like the water spray. Just go like tss, when you're bad. Tss, tss, tss. Yeah, well, come on. What's a trophy, Steve? Stipulation, get a trophy. It's pretty simple. This is the last Gooby Cube stream, BK. But Luis is streaming tonight. Okay, BK, I see what you're doing. <laughs> oh my god, this hand had so many good stuff. Yeah. It has, like, too much good stuff. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm not gonna do it Go either. to five? Yeah. This deck can win on five. This thing's not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep this, this away tomorrow, this Ryan. Forest and... It's survival for sure. Yeah. Mm, turn two, Sakura Tri Builder. Turn three, Blood Braid. Into Time Walk. Turn four. Whisper it easy. Oh yeah, BK, Molly Stream's Cube. His Cube Streams are really good. Molly is both very good at cube and he occasionally does some like really yeah. stupid stipulations which are which I enjoy quite a bit. Right on time, dude. Yeah, I know. Just put my Steve yeah. anyway, right? Yeah, Molly's trophied with some real, real garbage decks. It's been beautiful. BK is learning from me with how to how to how to The subtle digs. The, the subtle digs, but you know, still a little bit more transparent than what I'm used to. Ooh, that's a, that's, having yeah. people on alert notifications, that is an endorsement. Uh, I don't think we sack. Oh, we definitely sack. You think? What yeah, what if you draw Bloodbraid off? Oh, I guess if we do draw for it, it's like quite good. I guess I'll yeah. just get a mountain since mm -hmm. we already have the really Or a dynamo cool. or like an avalanche rider. Sure. Or a crater hoof. How about a crater hoof? Yeah. Should we just like play yeah. this and level it up? Yeah. Can we beat this ancestral? Hold on, I need a. I might be able to. Need a yield to this thing. It's right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. I think we we don't. I guess we actually do want to draw one, yeah, so I won't. Yeah. I will not crack it. All right. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna get a force. Yeah, I think. I think so. Ding dong. Ding. Come God, on. if they have a Please. counter for this, I'm gonna lose. Oh, oh I love it. it. 
What's in the box? Nothing. I guess that means we didn't draw it, so that's something. They're one away from ancestraling us. <laughs> the Zli Go Bob, I think, meant to say any lures and vintage on the menu tonight, LSV, but the the love the love the love mistype is like pretty good. It's why people call me baby. Uh, Jay Wall, I, I wear CFP shirts while I'm streaming. I don't I don't just randomly wear them. That's not true. Not that often. Okay. I feel like you I don't only wear them. Is, is yeah, you point. didn't you didn't know this, but whenever Luis is on camera or off camera, he's just always wearing LSV shirt or CFP shirts. <laughs> he doesn't have anything else in his wardrobe. Yeah, that's it. Boom. Jess! Jess, hon, thank you so much for Thanks, the 11 months. He's so sweet. I appreciate it's that, hon. It's appropriate for the both of you because it's one and one. Yeah, if, if he rips his shirt off like this, he just has a CFB tattoo underneath. <laughs> Am I more likely to order cards from CFB when Luis is wearing the jersey around the house? <laughs> I guess maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's Whoa, just like. Oh, they just got the tendrils of agony. What is happening? We have to play over Storm this? against in the hot. finals. We're doing great, Jess. There's some asking. hotness. We've been good, Jess. Thanks for asking. We're playing Vintage Cube, which is my favorite magic. Oh. That a braid from them looking pretty good. Yeah, it really is. I mean, we're still. Otherwise, gonna... it would have been exactly lethal. I think we're still going to hoof them, right? Could we just draw Time Walk? Uh... Me. Yeah, I guess hoof them, just but hoof I feel them, like right? we're going to lose now. I think so, too. Man. Oh, well, Dobbs. Yeah, if they hadn't abraded, they would actually be dead. Huh. Yeah, moats are busted right now. I, Twitch has been struggling. It's been on the struggle bus today. Sad as hoof and eh. Now pass and concede. <laughs> that would have been a good draw. Yeah. They've got to kill us now. They have Ancestral, they have ancestral and Mana coming down. I mean, I'm just going to F6 because this is out of our hands at this point. Oh yeah, Underworld Breach is good in Storm, I believe. Luis, are you gonna do you have any like plans for tonight's stream? Are you gonna stipulation for no, Storm just gonna or cube. anything? I might, I might try for a little Storm, you know. Why am I not F six? Gabby's got some weird setup, but all it leads to is her jamming the keys really loud and hard every turn multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Tell me you don't do I that. Have them I have them bound to ASD, yeah. but it, they they get unbound sometimes. Yield until end of yield. Where is this? There you go. Squirrel, I swear to God. <laughs> what happened? The other night we were playing Dead by Daylight, a game that I have like 250 hours in or more. And, uh, you know, like WASD is like the yeah. controls that you usually do to navigate in a game. Um, but the entire time I've only ever gone forward... See, I yield it to the end of the turn and stick. No, you could undo. <laughs> Hit I really? Yield <laughs> you through <did>. this turn. <laughs> and um, at some point, I like, Molly was trying to take a hit for me to save me. And instead of saying thanks, I threw a pallet on Molly's face and get, he got hit by a killer. <laughs> but in my defense, I did it because I was playing over speakers and I couldn't hear where the killer was. So I didn't mm. realize that the killer was right behind me. And also... I didn't look back. I didn't look back to see if Molly was behind me. So then after this this like mess of a game happens, uh, Squirrel and Molly are like, well, Gabby, it's not like the S button exists, right? And I'm like, what do you mean the S button? Oh, I think I, was, I think I caught this, where you could look, you didn't realize you could look back. And they're like, the S button? And I'm like, what S button? Wait, oh yeah, and then I jumped back and we both died, that's true. It was even worse than, than, than my retelling. And I'm like, what do you mean the yes button? And you're like, you know, look back. And I'm like, lol, that's funny. And they're like, no, we're being serious. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so I hit S and as it turns out, it switches. It switches your camera angle so that you can see behind you. And now you're going backwards. So when you run, you could look backwards to see what's happening. And after 250 hours of playing this game, I didn't realize that you could do that. So uh, yeah, and my mind was Blown. I could not believe it. Because even earlier in the game, or earlier in our chats, I had referred to my W butt, like my W yeah. finger. Like I had never acknowledged the existence of S in the game. It's extremely Gooby story, Ryan. Yeah. Like, so much. No, Shorty. 
I, I only go forward in that game and I only run. There's that always jam. Never look back. Yeah. Oh, that's really good news. No, I think they might still just be casting spells to... No, but they bolted your your, your creature. They didn't bolt you. They don't, they don't have enough to kill you. Oh, that's... Yeah, that is really, really, truly... It, the only tragedy of that story is that it wasn't on stream, so people could see me lose my mind when I learned that the S button oh, existed. Oh, they did have lethal. I don't know why they did that. After they... Tendrils. They could have bolted you, cast their braid and chart a course, and then tendrils do you. How many... So tendrils is two per thing? So if they ca that's five. They go to six with a braid, seven with chart. And eight with tendrils. Oh, that's yeah. 16, that's 16 plus the bolt is 19. I mean, maybe they messed up or something. I don't know. I think they might have messed up. Yeah, they just said they're bad at storm. Yeah, because they had... Uh, looks like they might still have lethal here. They might still go get it. They're one spell short. There are a few people who are not bad at storm. Luis is one of them. I think BK is very good at storm. Okay, this should this should kill you. But yeah, we'll I think so. All they need is a ritual here. Oh, Lotus. Oh, yeah, sure. there you go. Right, yeah, we're done. Should I just scoop? I mean, they did say they were bedded storm. They're just going to tendrils you, yeah. Yeah, there you go. No, I... Who's the best storm player in the world? I mean, if Finkel's also, like, just the notorious storm drafter. He... That is, like, his signature deck. I'm going to let my opponent do this, because they seem to be new at storm. They have all the tendrils in the stack. I know. I just wanted <laughs> to let them get the win. They oh, did the same. thing. They're new to storm. Gotcha, gotcha. Let them, let them feel the rush of killing you with the tendrils of agony. I might put in Lightning Greaves. Just to go fast and furious? Oh, take out Dragonborn. Finkel used to cube a lot, right? He doesn't cube that much anymore. Him and Colette used to stream. Yeah. And he would cube every time. He'd only do it during Christmas time. It was awesome. Yeah, I'd take out Dragonlord and probably like Doreen Determent. And then put in a Beast Within also. Oh, I've never seen Huey draft Storm, but I'm assuming uh, he's you probably, you probably want to take out Survival, actually. I don't think, survival you, is I don't think you're going to end medium. up doing that. I assume Huey's just a, like a world class put, player. I'm sure he can play it very well. Put Drain Tournament back in, I guess. Sure. Let's not die to Storm, Louise. Yeah. I mean, they have Lotus. They have Yawgwell. They have the cards you need, they needed. You needed to... Well, you multiplied that game also. You just needed to draw... Really, uh... We're, we're together, fandom. Plow Under or something like that. Mm -hmm. Ravine is just better than Copperland. The fast lands are kind of crappy in in uh, places like this deck where you yeah, actually you have, want like, the some big drops. You want the untapped land. Is BK the greatest storm player? He's probably the best person for a cube storm in his house, but you think he's I guess Madness doesn't like cube that much. Oh, BK's way better at cube than Madness. Madness just doesn't cube that much. Yeah, but Madness does love those crappy oh, man. God, this is so close. Yeah, you got a mulligan this, I think. Uh, man, really? We're on the play? We got one land. Problem is, you, you need a multiple land. I don't think I'm going to be on Luis's stream. I have some work I have to do tonight. Seems bad. Yeah, I know. I would keep it, but it's not good. What are we sending back? The hoof? Probably the Greaves. <laughs> the Greaves is like... The kind of card, if you have extra cards and mana, you can use Greaves to yeah, speed things up. Fair. But Go fast and furious. You really want to draw Blood Braid with this. <laughs> it would not surprise me if Matt Ness were the worst at stairs in this household. Mm. That seems like very much in his range. No, oh, man, I haven't been playing uh, Animal Crossing Hippo. It's been like a week since I... Uh... Crossed animals. I don't know. I got my island looking to where I wanted it to be, and then like I have been enjoying watching Gary play Final Fantasy. Yeah, VII. I've been playing Final Fantasy VII too. I fell asleep yesterday. Yeah, but you I didn't, you, like it, you didn't miss the sweet fight. I no. had a like I fought a cool boss yesterday. Yeah. And I would have sacked Sir Kirch, I Builder on my turn. Just F6 twice. 
That's some real moto strats right Should there. Should I go to the island? Yeah. All right, Bloodbraid. Play my Garrick. Uh, well. Maybe Ty Maybe Tyga. No, 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 no. Uh, sorry, I, I um. I she was... just fought the. What was it called? I'm playing the remake, the Airbuster. Airbuster. That Dustbuster Five Thousand is what I fought yesterday. Yeah. I actually like the changes they made, Carrot, but I understand wanting to just be faithful to the original game. I thought the changes that they made were, have been pretty cool. Yeah, it was a tough fight, Shorty. I got there, but... Man, we had the worst draws of our draft in the finals here. It's gonna, this is going to be hard. Yep. LOLs, Lego Bob. That's funny. That is funny. Oh, man, I guess four-year-olds already think that they can... Four-year-olds can already start playing games, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Play Cobra first. Because you, you can Cobra Vista. And... And play Garrick. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, my gosh. Golf with Friends is awesome. Chat, I was thinking about doing Golf with Friends for a community day. Next... Not, not this Friday, but I think next Friday. So if you have golf with friends, get it ready. Dust it off. I know. I don't want to lose the storm either. I'm trying. I'm going to try not to. Trying. These draws have been heinous. Yeah. You're just making beasts, right? Oh, yeah. I did feel like they had something, but yeah. Oh, man. That's cute, Lee. I can't imagine Baby, like, playing... That'd be fun, though. Mario Odyssey. Yeah. Can you imagine that? I don't feel she's, she's quite there yet. Yeah. Action? No, just garbage. Just yeah. cast it. Yeah. Wow, we we're really getting work this. Oh, this we, we really truly are. <laughs> Might as well play my tiger, right? It's kind of better to save it because yeah. it adds two mana when you the turn you play. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hey, Team Kassig, welcome. Hey, what's One, up? two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you can crater hope next turn. Eight. We won't be I lethal. I think we're going to Crater Hope next. Oh, like, what else, what else are we doing, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. If they draw, if they play Mana Flare and pass the turn. Oh, come on. Do it. Mana Flare. We have nothing. Oh. I guess they've been the Tiger now. Yeah. Then we could have drawn a creature and played Crater Hoof. Yeah. But. All right, can you just draw Primeval Titan or Drain Hermit or something? Anything? Okay, okay, okay. That's a start. Just like that. Time Come walk. on, Time Walk, baby! Well, here's the good news. is Now if you draw any land, then Crater Hoof's lethal next turn. I assume. I didn't count, but there's no way that's not yeah, lethal. Yeah, I feel like she's always actually been Oh, allowed. actually, it's one short, isn't it? <laughs> is it? Uh, five, eight, and then... Oh, yeah, you're right. Bummer. <laughs> I feel like she's always been a wild McCoddle. Oh, yeah. She's extremely wild my, today. My, my, yes. <laughs> I like to flip search now. They do. It's like a game log. Yikes. Play Swamp. Yeah, that is the second time we've gotten Is it Ziggy off of Blood Raid. All right, oh, man. time walk into land. Not not much to ask for, just time walk into land. Oh my god! Oh, holy <sighs> okay. moly! Okay, okay, okay. Now any land. Come on, we deserve this. We deserve this. Ooh, I really haven't asked for that much this cube draft. Just the land, you know. Oh baby. I swear if we no, do... no, no. Well, if they have like a force, it means they don't have much else to, That's to do. That's true, but I was nervous anyway. 
If we, I swear to God, if we do oh a raging God. review, come on. Oh my God, no, no, I can't look. I can't look, Louise. All right. I can't look. Just click it, just click it. Yeah, I can't, I have to look, I have to look. Oh. <laughs> Why did we get, I would have rather not drawn the time walk if we weren't, if we weren't gonna draw the, the stupid I'm gonna land. lose it, I'm gonna lose it if we lose next turn. Well, we are gonna lose next I'm turn. I'm gonna lose it. We're gonna lose I'm next gonna turn. I'm gonna lose it. How is he going to lose next turn? How, they're untapping with Thousand Year Storm in play. How could we not? Uh. Always two. This isn't one. coming out yet, though, right? I don't... Oh my god, we're so dead. Oh my god, dead. never mind. We just, let me just yield until end of turn and then... Uh. Alright, I'm going to go set up my stream. You can, uh, I'm gonna lose it. You, you no, can, they're gonna brick, Louise. I believe in the heart they're, of the they're card. They're gonna brick. Yeah. If they brick, I'll come back. Okay. But I want to get ready to spend. You should. I you should set up the stream. Back. If you set up the stream, I can actually raid you. Yeah. Yeah. Stream till too late anyway. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just gonna hang out here with stream until we until I die. Hey, Corey. Yes, we've always called it the heart of the cards. I've always believed in the heart of the cards. No big deal. Oh, did you see that? This lights up now. This lights up now when you get a message. That is new technology. Oh man, we're so dead. Oh, yeah, it really would be Corey. If if we if we dodged in this one, Really, truly, I belong in anime. <laughs> Wait, is my opponent watching the stream? Why did they say no land? I don't really know, chat. I don't really know, it doesn't even matter. Oh, for their fetch? Oh. It was for the- they fetched and fail- they fetched and failed to find, that's what it was. Oh my god. I think so, Seven. I think they had those two and like not- not a green sword. Cause we haven't seen a green card. They might be mega flooded. I don't think so, they just had Ancestral go off. There's no way they can't kill us here. Which game is this? This is it! This is it, Ryan. This is for all the marbles. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense, God. It's possible they have some of those cards in their hand. Holy moly, what is this? Time Spiral? Yeah, Time Spiral would make sense. They get to untap six. Turnabout, maybe? I don't know what they demonic tutored for. <laughs> Palancron? Okay. Well, they don't have anything that generates mana, so they're not actually like going off here. Bane fire for 10. We're 19, though. Oh, man, Chaz. It's gonna be so stupid when we don't get this trophy. Feel bad, man. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Not without a mana, like, without, um, mana flare or, like, um, high tide or something like that. Let me change my... Check, check. It's possible they needed more black sources. There's no way. Look at how much black they have. They got to cast Palancron on top and then like play it again. There's no way. Check clears. Love it. Live to see it. <laughs> I know, Wolf. I want to live in that timeline better. Yeah, Yoni. So what happens is when I have a guest here, we can't have this doesn't work for both of us. So I just bump up the gain and put the mic up here. But when I don't have a guest, I can just use the microphone as intended and it sounds the way it's supposed to, like this. Why now but before Tendrils 2 and Yawgmoth's 1? I mean, they have four cards in hand. I'm guessing they have a way to kill us. It seems like my opponent is kind of newer-ish to Storm, so they're probably like trying to figure out what the line is. Hmm. 
double exposure. I think they might have the line. I think they're just new to Storm. They, they said that in chat. They said, like, I... All good. I'm. Oh, no. They said, I'm bad at Storm's lol. So I think they're just new to Storm. Have I thought about getting a lavalier mic for Mike and then muting it? <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, that's a start. That's going to kill my Avenger. So one, two, three. They killed my Blood Braid and Avenger. Sure. Funnily enough, if they fizzle and I get a land, I can still hoof them because the plants will just kill them. Maybe, Cory. Maybe the heart of the cards will work. I don't think so. There's no. There's no way. Oh my gosh! Look, there's no way. We're so dead. So what else is... Hold on, let's look at what's in the yard. Yeah, that's what I want to look at too, Molly. What's in the box? They have a braids. Well, they're going to be able to wrath my entire board. They have K command in the yard, so they're going to copy that for six times at the very least. They said I freaking did it, GG's. <laughs> yeah, this K command is going to kill us, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's the tendrils. G, G's. G to the G's. Yeah, there you go. All right, chat. We fought, we fought, and we did our best. But in the end, we got tendrils of agony. <laughs> All good. I understand how the Grixis Cabal works, Corey. I, I, I don't fault you for it. You Gucci. Yeah, we dubbed, Luis. It happens. It's all good. All right, everybody. Let me wrap up this YouTube video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Sorry we couldn't deliver on the trophy stream. Wah. But this deck was cool. Um, this is the last Vintage Cube draft because they're taking it offline tomorrow. But there should be a lot of Aquaria Standard and Limited coming to the YouTube channel soon. So that will be fun. Thanks again for watching YouTube. Remember to subscribe because that really helps the channel out. Bye bye If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us in the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later!